I'll be introducing these companies to you today. Um, first up will be Todd Murphy of the Farmer's Diner. I'd like to start where most of us have probably started when we've come to think of healthy communities. We'll start with Wendell Berry. Good solutions exist only in proof. Problems must be solved in work and in place by people who will suffer the consequences of their mistakes. This is my favorite definition for skin in the game. The Farmer's Diner Proven Good Solution. Wendell described us as democratically priced local food. That means we have mass market appeal and, and a broad category that we can grow into. Because we're a family-priced restaurant, essentially anybody who goes out to eat is a potential Farmer's Diner customer. The thing we're most excited about at Farmer's Diner is that the farmers that supply us can afford to be regular customers. Just last night, one of our farmer suppliers' daughter was in for the third time this week. We had over a million dollars in restaurant sales last year. What that means is that we created over a quarter of a million dollar market for farmers and small scale producers, that we secured 600 acres in healthy, sustainable farming, and that we kept at least 15 tons of CO2 out of the air because of our local supply chain. We create ancillary... Uh, we create ancillary markets um, for, for our farmers because we provide a secure economic base for them to sell products into. That gives them the opportunity to then go out and find other channels to move those products through knowing they're going to get a paycheck from us. Also because we're aggregating 40 to 80 vendors and preparing food for the restaurants, it gives us the opportunity to pursue other markets uh, such as wholesale markets. Farmers Diner proofs, since good, good solutions exist only in proof, here's what we've proved. Uh, despite the excitement of the last two years in the economy, we've proved profitability. Our Queechi store is doing better than 13% uh, of profits at the store level. We're a proven multi-unit operator. Uh, with the opening of our Middlebury store last year, we've proven that we can duplicate the system uh, and manage multiple locations. We have proven market appeal to investors. We have investor groups in New York City and the Bay Area that are working with us currently to bring farmers diners into their community. We've proven that we can create farms with the opening of the Middlebury Farmer's Diner. We helped a couple get started in pasture and egg uh, business, and they sold to us, and now they're distributing throughout the state. And we have a proven ability to raise capital over a million and a half dollars over the last decade. Farmer's Diner is set up as a holding company. We manage the intellectual property and the brand. The intellectual property is how to build and manage a diverse supply chain, as well as create menus and recipes that allow the restaurant to be affordable for our customers while being profitable for the farmers, our employees, and our investors, all the while taking care of the health of the earth. That's that triple bottom line, people, profits, and planets. And then we have an automatic update. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're, currently, we're currently updating our financing with a $350,000 uh, raise to help build our management team uh, to help our execution going into Manhattan um, this summer and then going into Brooklyn at the second quarter of next year. My business partner Denise and I are here today. We're looking forward to talking with you about partnering with us to bring uh, healthy communities to existence. Thank you.